The Lagos Chambers of Commerce Industry has organized its annual media economic review and outlook event designed to review key policy developments and macroeconomic performance in the first half of the year. The president of the institution, represented by the deputy president, Mr. Gabriel Idahosa, said LCCI will continue to engage the government to ensure that Nigeria's economy improves. The guest speaker, Dr. Ayo Teriba, and the panelists explained that the oil industry has been monopolized by the major players. LCCI, over the last 135 years, has consistently engaged government and advanced the growth of the private sector and the overall Nigerian economy through regular reviews of the business and economic climate by policy advocacy. The Nigerian economy in the first half of this year has been quite challenging. The first quarter GDP slowed to 2.3%, largely driven by growth in the oil sector, while the oil sector remained in recession. The country has also witnessed significant decline in foreign direct investment, coupled with high level of public debt stock and concerns for debt sustainability, high unemployment and poverty levels. Today, LCCI has gathered a team of experts to extensively discuss these economic issues and implications for business and households and its impact on the country's outlook. The global economy still remains very fragile, despite the fact that we have recovered from COVID-19 pandemic. The effect of Russian uh, war in Ukraine is already being dealt with. But then, we are, even in the West, we are having easing inflationary pressure Monetary policy too, I mean, they are signaling that they might start to moderate in the next coming months. And then the banking sector seems to be improving in their health. In the regime in which, you know, subsidies first start and in which multiple exchanges first start, you had monopolies or oligopolies. You know, you either have a major supplier or you had a few suppliers who had market powers and exploited their market powers. So for a successful reform of the downstream sector, you needed to break monopoly powers. Dr. Deriba, who further spoke alongside other panelists who expressed their disappointment in the lack of government communication with the citizens, said the government should unboard the NMPCL, stressing that the Central Bank of Nigeria also needs to be reorganized. Um, hopefully, the new administration will um, pay close attention to this and tackle these issues. So, issues such as insecurity, uh, logistics, uh, energy supply, etc. Now, the further spike that came, uh, more recent, about 26% spike on the PMS pump price, was also considered. Um, of course, exchange rate depreciation that we've seen over the, over the past weeks. Um, and um, spent in production costs, especially for imported inputs. So we're dealing with not just FX depreciation, we're also dealing with high inflation in advanced economies and the uh, a country like Nigeria imports dependent. When you have a country that's in a stampede, what was missing in the last two months is not, there were two things. They were not supported by institutional reforms that jobs with them. But those institutional reform, nobody actually expected them to happen immediately. But there was no communication about them. So what I'm trying to say is that you did two important reforms, right? But for eight weeks, there was no communication. It's not only the NMPC that needs to be reorganized. Central Bank of Nigeria should be reorganized. And we should follow the example of the Labour government when they took over in England in 1997, they reconstituted, they fragmented the functions of the Bank of England. They withdrew banking supervision from them. You can't just say, you know, remove or suspend the governor and leave all his co-travelers of nine years and expect to get a better outcome. My suggestion is that you should unbundle NMPC. You should separate the upstream exploration and production operations from the midstream 
refinery operation. I don't even think that the refineries have a board of their own. And also separate the downstream operation. Make them, put them under the oversight of functionally separate entities. Even if an NPC remains a group, let them have their own boards. Let them be accountable. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.